Eat your vegetable. You hear people say that all the time. Your parents tell you to eat your vegetable. Do you know why? Well, don't worry. It's okay, because I'll tell you why, biologically. So there's four macromolecules. These are the basic building blocks of all cells. In other words, pretty much everything else in your body. Out of these four macromolecules, there's carbohydrate. And all of these macromolecules comes in two versions, the monomer version and the polymer version. It's like a wall of bricks. If you have the monomer version, then you have just one brick. But if you have many, many bricks put together to create a wall, that's the polymer version. So carbohydrate looks like this. It comes in two flavor. It comes in glucose and ribose. Those are the monomer, like one single brick. And when you put a bunch of them together, using a process called dehydration synthesis, you get a polymer version, which is called a polysaccharide. The word saccharide, it means sugar. Now, there's four carbohydrate polysaccharides, and they are starch, glycogen. These two are digestible sugar. There is two more, chitin and cellulose. These two, yeah, these two are not digestible. The difference between them is the digestible one comes in alpha linkage. The one that you cannot digest, they come in beta linkage. Our focus is on this one here, cellulose. Cellulose is a carbohydrate polysaccharide with a beta linkage that cannot be digestible. Cellulose are found mostly in cell wall. Now, which plants have cell wall? Um, that's right, all plants have cell wall. Therefore, all plants have cellulose. So the thing is, you cannot digest cellulose. Therefore, when you eat plant, you can't digest them. So if you can't digest plant, then what's the purpose of eating plant? Well, what happened is, since you can't digest them, when you eat them, eventually they're going to pretty much come out pretty quickly and easily. And when it comes out, it's going to pull out other stuff in your body too, like all the waste material. So in other words, you're going to go to the restroom more often and you'll probably have a bigger stool. Now, why in the world would we want to clean our inside? Oh, I don't know. If for some reason, like something that's very rare, for example, like rectum cancer, yeah, not a big deal. But for something that's very common, like nausea, headache, do you have those symptoms often? Well, that's because you're not getting enough vegetable. So, now you know why you should be eating vegetable. It's good for you, both inside and outside. People who don't eat vegetable much will not get their inside clean as well. So all the dirty waste material is going to start building up in your rectum and stuff. Mainly your large intestine, that's where all the waste material is stored. And as those things are building up, there's all these nauseous gas that are released. So that makes you, you know, drop a bomb sometime or it would not. It doesn't go that direction, it goes the other direction. It'll head up towards your head, it'll cause you to burp or other situation. It'll cause, it'll continue to go to your brain and that's going to cause you with all irritation, nausea, headache and stuff. So if you have those kind of symptoms, you should be eating more vegetable. And now we know why we need to eat vegetable.